I don't understand why you decided to vacuum me now. What does he even have to vacuum? He doesn't even have carpet. <laughs> I was like, what are you vacuuming? Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, what are you backing me? You don't even have carpet. Fucking, that's so funny to me. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Joel Mejia Tattoo here, and well, as you can see from the title today's video, I'm going to be bringing you my very first tattoo machine review that is not on Amazon. Before we get into that, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that every time I post a new video. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright everybody, so like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Big Wasp Bronk Machine. Big Wasp sent over this package to me the other day, and I was very excited, I was very curious. I'm like, why sending me a product? And then I remembered, I did a video with my friend Freddy on this channel. It was actually my first video tattooing with an Amazon tattoo machine, and it was a Big Wasp machine that was $60. And I'm very honest, I'm not going to give some faulty review just because somebody sent me a product. But yeah, that was the kind of start of it. I reviewed a few other products that were found on Amazon. You can find some of Big Wasp machines and their products on Amazon um, or on BigWasp.com. I'm very curious to try it. I have not sought out another Big Wasp machine since the last time. Price point for this machine is around $300, which is a pretty affordable machine for those of you who aren't wanting to invest a huge sum of money. So let's go ahead and open this package. I'm very curious. I have not taken a look at this machine yet. Very good quality box. Okay, packaging. Look at this. It's got a sticker on it. So you know it's new. I will say it is a bit heavier. I want to get what the specs are on exactly how heavy this machine is. I wonder if they have it. Oh, does it come with a battery thing? Okay, so there's another separate box inside of it. This is the battery charger thing. Um, and this is the battery. I will say, Big Wasp, you you should give us instructions on how what it what how were you doing this? I know that it's probably fairly simple, but I'm kind of dumb. Other machines are so much lighter than this, but I like the feel of this. This is nice. You can change the voltage on this. I think that is so cool. Bitch, that is fancy. And I need to charge this battery. This battery is dead as hell. I normally tattoo at 10 volts. Actually, maybe I should start it lower because this is a new machine. I'm not trying to blow this shit up. We've had that happen here before, and it is not a cute vibe. Bitch, this sounds like a vibrator. If this machine don't work out, I'm gonna shove this right up my ass. So Big Wasp did also send me some needles. I have tried your needles before in the past. And maybe they are better than when I tried them. They do look a lot different than when I first tried them. When I first tried Big Wasp needles, not a fan. I'm not a fan of the way that the needle structure was and like the membrane. They do look a lot different. These are clear now. Let's look at these needles. This is a type 5 needle. You know, I'm not a huge fan of this type of membrane. Um, the membrane is what is inside of the needle or what holds the needle pretty much the tension of it Oftentimes I like the ones that have a rubber band membrane these ones when they collapse It literally will just stick like this and it'll like I, don't, I just don't like the way it sucks up the ink again could change my opinion could change I have been seeing a lot of companies start to make their needles like this because it's kind of like quadrant quadrant is another really good quite high quality needle brand so if you want to check out quadrant I, I will review them on this channel eventually I will also be trying out their mags they sent me over some round mags again wasn't a huge fan of their mags before um these ones they look pretty lit i mean honestly their needles have changed quite a lot since the last time i used them if this is a big wasp machine and this is a big wasp needle then it should fit pretty damn good it does it fits very good with the machine let me turn this on learn how to use this machine at 6.1 volts i'm very glad that there's not a lot of like chattering and or like really loud shit going on this sounds pretty good it's at 6.1 volts that's not what i tattoo at so let's go ahead and try it at 10 volts which is what i usually tattoo at and hope to god this shit does not fly out and stab me in the neck i don't hate it this actually sounds like the bitch is pushing the big wasp needles and the big wasp machine they go well together which i'm glad because obviously if it's your brand your product should be the best together all right so now you got my opinion i'm very curious to see what freddie has to say about it because freddie is also a tattoo artist and he enjoys learning about this stuff as much as i do I was hella talking shit. I was just like, you need to have some sort of instructions inside of it. This shit fell off and it's pretty much the instructions of like the machine. Sorry to Big Wasp. You know what this looks like? This looks like my very first fucking vape. I love that for you. So, that's seven. I will say it is a bit heavy. Like, hold it. It's not bad though. That's tough as fuck. The, the mag is. The mag is for sure. There's a lot of tension on that van. That'll put so much strain on the motor. This is a little bit 
more forgiving. They're, yeah. But it's still super tight. So tight, bro. Oh my god. Are you fucking excited for me to tattoo with this, bro? This shit's gonna be fucking tight. Oh, it's so tight. Oh. And did you check the actual, like, stability of the... No. I would never use this. There, that's but too, there's too much. That, that's here, too much play. Here's the thing. I'm comparing it to what I used to tattoo with their like product with. Uh -huh. So it's a little bit better. Look how much fucking needle play is in there. There is. There is. But you know what? I like I said. I feel like a lot of needle companies are trying to design their their cartridges to be like um, quarters. I don't know. I haven't tattooed with them yet, but that's what they kind of give. Yeah. Are you excited to get tattooed by this? I am. I'm excited. Before we get into today's tattoo machine review, I am going to go ahead and put a disclaimer out there. My name is Joel Mejia and I am a tattoo artist of six years. I am a big tattoo nerd. Knowledge is power and that is what I'm here to do. I am not endorsed by this company. I am not bought by anybody. I am just giving you the true tea on this tattoo machine. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Big Wasp Bronk Machine. This is Big Wasp take on a wireless pen machine. It definitely has a really good center balance it has the option to change this machine into an RCA cord throughout the piece I tried to use the type 5 liner and the 7 mag this is a freehand bat that I started on my friend Freddy and I figured why not use this machine on it throughout the liner was okay over time I think that if I were to use the machine the membrane would probably not do as well as for the mag I did go through the piece in the beginning with the mag and I did have to correct a lot of parts with it because of the membrane that is inside of it the mag was too rigid it was too hard it did not give the nice gradation that I want instead it was very choppy it was very sharp and I did not like that the big wasp needles were a thumbs down for me I had to change the way that I was doing things approaching the tattoo and I did have to use my Helios needles that is the brand that I trust because they are a very good quality needle as for this machine it did run okay I ran it at the speed that I normally run it at which is 10 volts it was okay I will say it did what I needed it to do it gave me the shading it gave me the smooth shading but when it came to packing in solid black it did take me a little bit more times going through the skin but overall not bad it does have the feeling of a 3.4 3.2 millimeter stroke it does not indicate exactly what stroke or throw this machine has but I'm just gonna guess that could be wrong but I think that's what it is if you are a tattoo artist that is just barely starting out and don't have a thousand dollars to just dump on a machine this is definitely a more affordable option it is a good quality machine and it could definitely last you a few years um, depending on how well you take care of it maintain it I'm gonna go ahead and give this tattoo machine a big thumbs up definitely did do a good job with the piece I enjoy the way that it came out I'm gonna give this a B plus this is a pretty decent machine as you can see the tattoo machine definitely did the job I enjoy the way that the piece came out this was a freehand creepy bat and cover-up on my friend Freddy um, the machine it did the damn thing so let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts on today's tattoo machine review. Alright everybody, as you can see, I finished up the tattoo with no problems. Honestly, the Big Wasp Bronk Machine, I will say, is a pretty affordable option if you are looking for a beginner tattoo machine, to be honest, if you don't want to break the bank. This machine is fairly affordable. It is $228. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on BigWasp.com. I will say that when it comes to packing in black, I have noticed that these machines, the Big Wasp machines that are rotary, they don't really pack as much of a punch. I feel like they're more used for like light liner and like soft shading not so much solid black I did notice I had to go over areas multiple times to kind of like get the saturation where I needed it to be but overall not too bad honestly I was ex I don't know what I was expecting but it was a good quality machine I will say when it came to the needles the needles were not my favorite like I told you guys earlier I've tried big wasp needles before not really my favorite the liner I used throughout the type 5 to get the basic structure of the piece mm, it was okay but when it came to the mag run do not get the mags they are not my favorite they are very stiff rigid I think it has something to do with how tight the membrane is honestly when I was using it it just was very sharp it gave you more of the illustrations from the liner or from the needles that are inside of the mag the rough looking shading where you could see the needle lines when you when you have a needle that you could see all the needle lines switch it 
to go to a different brand. Honestly, if you're gonna be using the Big Boss Bronk Machine, I just recommend getting a different needle brand. I used Helios needles throughout the tattoo. I tried, I really did try to use their needles in the beginning part. And honestly, I had to, I had to correct everything. I had to go in with different needles to do the entire tattoo, but I did use this machine throughout. Those are all my opinions. I think that if you're looking for an affordable rotary tattoo machine, maybe check this machine out. Thank you again, Big Boss, so much for sending me this machine. I would love to review other machines. Uh, if you want me to review any products, anything tattoo related, leave in the comments below. If you have anything you want to send me that's a machine that you want me to try, hit your boy up. Well, that's it for this tattoo machine review. Thank you again so much for watching. If you made it to this point in the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, subscribe. I bring you tattoo related content every single week. So with that being said, thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Later.